Welcome to the Magical Tree Photoshop Editing Project. The key understanding for this assignment is that you are actually editing the sky, not the tree. You have to decide which parts of the tree you want to hide, not the parts that you want to delete. We're going to do this using layers. So click in the bottom right corner on a new layer. This layer will be the foreground. Now we need to use the marquee tool. So choose the letter M. We can have rectangular marquee or circular marquee. When we put it on the screen, if we want to make a perfect circle or a perfect rectangle, then we will hold down the shift button. Once you've made your shape, you can move it around to put it where you need it. I've decided I want to make my tree look like a snowman, so I need to add a circle. To do this, I use the marquee tool, and this time, as I'm making my circle, I hold shift, which will add it to my existing circle. You can see the little plus sign beside the selection tool. Now I'll give this snowman a top hat, so I change from a circle to a rectangle marquee tool, but you notice that I forgot to hold shift, and so the selection has disappeared. So I can hit Control Z and bring my selection back, and this time I remember to hold shift when I'm making my square. This will add my square to the existing two circles that are selected. Now to take away part of the rectangle, I need to hold down the Alt key, which will subtract from my selection, and you'll see a little minus sign beside the selection tool. And so I've selected the outsides to make the top hat look like a top hat. Next, I'm going to right click and select inverse. This will select everything around my shape. I hit the letter K for the paint bucket tool, and I'm going to fill in that inverted selection. Now I want to turn off that layer so I can see where the grass is, and I'm going to select the marquee tool, M, and then I'm going to make a square where the grass is, and I'm going to take a little bit also from the trunk of the tree. Make sure I get the right amount there. Next I'm going to turn the layer back on and hit delete on my keyboard and now we will see the grass. Remember we are editing the sky or we are making a new sky which will make it look like we've edited the tree. Now I want to select W for the magic wand tool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the space that is left, the, the blue sky that is left. And now I need to create that into a sky color by using the gradient tool. Turn off my front again and I'm going to click on the foreground and I'm going to select my color in the top right corner, hit OK. Now I'm going to choose the background color in the bottom left corner and hit OK. And now I'm going to turn on my layer again and I'm going to drag from the top right to the bottom left. Now I'm going to turn it on and off and I'm going to look in the different corners, the top left, the bottom right, the bottom left, as I turn it on and off to see if the colors match. And if I want, I can change the angle of the gradient and turn it on again, turn it off, and I'm just checking to see if it looks the same, if it looks realistic. If you want to, you can select the Blur tool and you can adjust the edges well, first you have to turn off the marquee, get rid of your selection, make sure I'm on that top layer. I go to the Blur tool, and I'm going to just adjust the edges just a little bit, just soften them, just blur them, so it doesn't look quite so obvious. And that's it. Now you're done and you know a little bit about how to use Photoshop. If you want to make another layer, you can make another creation by simply hiding your original layer and making a new shape. So for example, I wanted a square Mickey Mouse head. I could do that right here. 
Make as many as you'd like. That's it. Good job. Thanks for watching.